Hello, love. Welcome to Feeling Fridays here on the Libra Key. These are messages for the highest and greatest good of the empath collective and the empath journey here on Mama Gaia. Okay. And of course, if you resonate with being an empath, light worker, starseed healer, part of the Elsh Collective, awakened or awakening souls, this all applies to you as well. Know that if this message has found you or you have found it, that there is something here for you. If this is the first time that you are coming across this. Okay. Archangel Sandalfon wanting to come in for this message and wanting to share the energies of pyrite with you. This is a pyrite sphere. I'm just going to hold this up as I read to you going into the meditation. I am not popping any cards today. What he wants to share with us. This is going to be an energy update with regard to the evolution, is what I'm hearing, of the Elsh Empath Collective Journey. The Elsh Empath Collective Journey. I saw 111 with that. There's something here about creation, the number three being the number of the creation. And I'm going to get to that in a second because he did touch upon that near the end of this. And then I'm just going to allow him to come through for the messages, okay? I heard sit still and meditate in order to properly relate. I almost heard it like a song. Like it was like sit still and meditate in order to properly relate. Now, properly, we're going to get to that in a second because he says that sometimes that can be a loaded word for people, but he wants to break that down a bit. This is about meditating to strengthen your auric field, balancing emotions, and you choosing what you want to focus on being everything. What you choose in terms of what you want to focus on is everything when it comes to your interactions with others as an empath energetically more than anything else okay so let's go back to this energy of properly relating so he's showing me okay archangel sandafon showing me now mama gaia this is actually very much the same energy similar energy that i believe came through last week's message with mother mary or maybe it was a couple weeks ago. Mother Mary holding the world. And he's showing me the world very much in the same fashion, Archangel Sandalfon now. And he's saying that he's using this word properly in a very law of the universe sense. Laws of the universe sense. Like he's saying it's like legalese. The way we use how we interpret the and the energy that we give to the word is, again, everything and how we interpret this. Okay. Um, oh God, he's giving me he's giving me the example of when you say something proper like. Um, oh, my God. Like when you refer to, he's saying heart, like the heart proper, the soul proper in its, in its truest essence. That's how he's, that's how he's bringing it through to me. So he's saying that there's, there's been a shift ongoing in the empath journey with regard to how we are relating to others. And he's showing me how this has been for the most part, historically, he's acknowledging here that this has been a painful journey, emotionally, for quite a few of us, quite a lot of us, right? And he's showing me like how there's something cracking through. He's showing me like the, okay, he's showing me this, this old matrix 
in Mamagaya, around Mamagaya, okay? In contrast to this new matrix, this new earth template, okay? Um, he's showing me how there's an energy cracking through this old matrix, old earth template with regard to how we understand relating to others. And this is an essential part of the empath journey. It's crucial to understand this. And he's showing me that when something cracks, it's painful, right? It's, it's disjointed. It feels very weird, for lack of a better way of putting it. It feels like something you've never felt before. To the point where you feel like, am I even being empathic right now? Am I even... Because, it's, we, because we've been so programmed to feel or think a certain way as empaths. And he's talking specifically here to faulty empathy and the old matrix template of em empathy that has been manipulated, that has been abused. Those are the words that are coming through. Where do we start with this, right? Because Archangel Sandophon is all about bringing this down to earth, literally, but also figuratively grounding these energies, being practical about it. And this is where the first step in this, he keeps on coming back to you strengthening your auric field. This isn't about some kind of technique. This isn't about some kind of uh, process of you asking questions and journaling something out. No, that's, that's, he's showing me that's not what it's about. That helps in tandem with this. You can still do those things and they still are incredibly supportive to our journeys individually. But the most important thing that we need to be focusing right now is on strengthening our own energetic auric field. Now, one of the, uh, what he's sharing with me, and I'm gonna come back to the pyrite in a second here, and I feel like there was something else that wants, if that comes through. Okay, no, we're good with that, yeah. Okay, so one of the most basic ways that you can do this, he's directing me to selenite too now as well for helping me with this, okay? So I'm just gonna bring these into the reading. Okay. One of the ways that you can do this is in meditation in a sacred space. And also, as you go about your day, even when you're not in sacred space. He's showing me that these are, again, two different ways that you can do it. Two sides of the same coin. This was something that came through the other in another reading I just did. Um, interesting. Yeah, he's showing me that there's the way that you do it as you go about your day, interacting in the 3D reality around you, in the third dimension, in that frequency, in third density. And then there's the way that you do it when you're in meditation, where you're accessing different dimensions. Remember that he's showing me like these don't again, remind a reminder that these dimensions, like the fifth dimension, and that's got, that is just getting thrown around all over the place, right? He really wants you to focus on this. Not so much about trying to figure out what this is. It's not a physical thing. It's not a place. It's a consciousness, which you can access and sometimes some people understand it as that, right? As a space, as a space of consciousness, okay? So when you are in meditation, we're gonna start there, in a sacred space, focus on where your energy and your frequency resides in your body. Where do you feel it first? And allow yourself to follow where that energy goes. And he's showing me that this is a daily practice. He's also showing me, again, because this is, this is once you've set up a sacred space, and once you've done, you know, you obviously need to clear that space and clear your energy before you get into that sacred space. And this is where the selenite comes in to help you with that. Again, you do not need to have these things. If these are not available to you, the crystals, 
these beautiful beings, if they're not available to you, just tune into the frequency of that. Even imagine, and that's why I bring them into these readings, see their light, see their energy, okay? Now, when it comes to clearing your energy, and this was something that I read, I believe, oh my God, I think it's Cassie O. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. Um, she wrote a book about auras, and in that she had an exercise where you hold a piece of selenite or a wand of selenite, whatever you have available to you, over your crown, I believe, and you, working in tandem with the energy of selenite, clear your aura. You see, you visualize, you feel, whatever resonates for you, the energy of the selenite, raining down, moving over your auric field to clear that. And Archangel Sandophon is actually saying to me, this is just as important as working on your energy in terms of attuning to your auric field and strengthening it. It's all part of it. You can also pass selenite through your auric field. Do whatever resonates for you, whatever feels right. But selenite is definitely a beautiful energy to be working with for that, okay? Because when you clear your energy, especially as an empath, you're getting rid of and clearing from your energetic field what is not yours. And you also need to say this, you need to make, you need to make the intention of that as you do this, okay? You know, taking the selenite. If you don't have selenite, do this through the breath, is what Archangel Sandalphon is showing me. Saying out loud, you, and even, or in your head, out loud, clearing any energies from this auric field, from my energetic field, work with whatever wording you want here, that are not mine, that are residual energies from somewhere else, something else, someone else, that are not in alignment with my highest good. Clearing those energies. Sometimes people just like to say clearing, 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 like three times or like over and over again. And using your breath and selenite, if that's available to you, to clear those, to clear that energy up and out of the way to get centered, okay? So once you've done that and you've set up your sacred space, you're now going to work on understanding your own energy and your own frequency, okay? One of the ways that you can do that is simply by attuning to where you feel your soul or your spirit in your body. Where do you feel it in your body? Where do you feel your energy in your body, your frequency in your body? Uh, one beautiful example of this uh, was shown to me by Jenny from Starseed Academy, where you close your eyes, you tune into your body, you get really still, and you feel an energy in your lips or in your hands, that's your frequency. That's another way that you can attune to this. Focusing on one aspect of your physical body where you really feel a kind of buzzing, that's your energy, that's your frequency. Feel into that and then start to expand upon that, okay? If you're more familiar with your aura, Archangel Sandalphon is saying to me, the energy that field around you, if you can feel into that, begin there. Start to strengthen this energy field and see it as light. Um, understand it as every time you're breathing into it, it is expanding, it is growing stronger. You can also work, he says here, with source light in doing this. So you connecting with source light and drawing source light down into your body is an excellent way to do this, is what he's showing me, while you're in sacred space. Now, he's saying that this is spiritual hygiene. The more that you attune to this, the more you align with your true authentic self, your true authentic energy. And this will very, very much unconsciously, is what he's showing me, it's going to be showing up in your day-to-day -day life. You're not even going to have to do this consciously anymore. You're just going to be like a beam of this frequency, a beam of your true self in everything you do to the point where you're going to find yourself in situations where maybe, and he's giving me a very, one connected very much to empaths here, and by extension, light workers, star seeds, and healers, definitely. When you're interacting with another person, when you're having an exchange with someone, 
where, um, you know, there is something emotional going on, you're going to be really aware of where your boundaries are and not taking that on and getting dragged down by it because you're so attuned to that to the point as well where you're actually going to be shifting the frequencies of the environment around you and the people as well that you're interacting with. And he says that this is going to really apply to relationships where maybe you have been struggling to set up healthy boundaries, to exercise those healthy boundaries. Maybe these are relationships where you have a certain dynamic with someone and it's very difficult to kind of um, differentiate how you are feeling with how they are feeling. You take on a lot of their emotion and how they're feeling. He's also bringing up that empathic guilt that comes up with thinking you need to take it on when really it's not yours to take on. The strengthening of spirit is going to really assist you in that. Um, and this, go, this ties into choosing what you want to focus on being everything. What are you then going to focus on in those interactions is going to be everything. You're going to find yourself focusing more on how can I be present in this situation in a way that is simultaneously empathic, compassionate, loving, and understanding, but also with very healthy boundaries and with speaking your own truth in a loving way, okay? He wants me to end on pie right here. Now, gold and the energy, the golden ray, the energy of gold itself, this is a solar energy, right? Um, this is connected, he's showing me to the solar plexus, of course, reiterating that again, your strength of will. And this is also very much associated with empaths because empaths, are for the most part uh, very clairsentient and clairsentience is associated with the solar plexus chakra. This is about strengthening your clairsentience to be able to discern again what is truly yours to take on, to transmute, and what isn't. There is a very protective, we want to use the word fortifying here too as well, there's a strengthening energy in this just going back to the strengthening of the auric field you may also want to work with the energies of pyrite to help you with this. And visualizing that energetic shield around you, filtering only what is in your highest and greatest good, allowing that to come in. Also alchemizing, because gold is alchemy, alchemizing that energy as well. Okay, that's another energy coming through. He's also showing me the violet flame if you want to work with that as well. That's something to help you alchemize these energies. Also, 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 one final little note here is that when you do do this auric strengthening, you may have certain things come up, right? Certain emotions, certain feelings. And working with the violet flame to help you transmute those, to help you process that, to help you strengthen this auric field, okay? I'm going to end it there. Thank you, Archangel Sandalphon, for being here for these messages. I thank you for being here, for sharing your time and energy in this space with me. I'm sending you so much love wherever you are. I hope that this has supported you in some way. Empath, in love and liberation always.